I am Flag 2007 geocacher and I've been in the market for a new underwater camera. The one I found and bought off of eBay is the Kodak Pix Pro WPZ2. I think I got that right. Uh, the last one I had was a Fuji camera which was very nice but it quit working. So I'm going to see how this one will work out. And I'm also doing my very first unboxing. Yes. Can't wait to do that. So let me get this thing turned around and pointed to the table where I put together my models. And I'm going to unbox it. And I will add video and photos to this video as I test this camera. Not that camera there. The camera on the table. Okay, here I am, and I will super speed this because I've seen these unboxing things before, and I know how incredibly dull that can actually be. So let me get the box opened up. All right, super speeding through that. There, I need a light over here. You can't see that very well, but still can't see it. Okay, but it is the Kodak Pix Pro WPZ2. And, well, there you go. I will take it out of the box and see what all it comes with. I think it comes with some nice stuff. All right, uh, you get the camera, a little smaller than what I thought it would be, no big deal. I use the PixPro SP1 for some underwater shots once before and they actually turned out pretty good. So. I'm hoping this will do just as well. Battery is a little underwhelming to say the least. I was expecting something a little larger. And you get the standard USB wall plug cord for the wall plug and the wrist strap. And that is about it so there's the camera and as soon as i shoot some photos and video with this then we'll see how it looks okay this is some test footage i'm doing inside using the camera mounted on a tripod and i have not yet checked to see if i can download an app to control that from my phone I was able to connect my phone to it to its Wi-Fi connection with no problem whatsoever. Um, other than that, this is just a supposedly full HD 1080 30 frames per second. There are some other options on it, but let's we'll see how this does first. Okay, enough for that. There we go. This is my first test of the video to see how good it is. It's kind of hard. I, since I got the app working, you, you want to look at your phone instead of the camera. 
Okay, here's the other thing. Uh, other than the buttons on this, uh, the tripod mount is on the far left side of the camera, which is, to me, kind of a crazy place to put a tripod mount. Uh, it's, it kind of makes it a little weird to, to mount it on a tripod. I, I guess if you're putting it on a stick or something like that, it's, well, even even when I had it on my, uh, my, my GoPro handheld selfie type fold-out stick, it, it still seemed a little awkward the way it was, the placement is. So, i have just, this is just, like I said, a test to see how good the video is. I'll get some more video outside with it, and I just want to see if this video will save to the card on the camera unlike the other one that did not. Okay, I'm doing my first outside video test with this camera. Hopefully it won't suck down the power enough to where I can't get some good underwater shots. Provided we've actually got a place to swim. The creek is a little low today. Apparently they did not get a whole lot of water up this direction. There you go. 40 seconds of walking down the road. 44, 45. Okay, we are at the, what they call the Saudi Gulf. I don't even know if I'm framed or not. I'm pretty close to it. I think I'm just looking straight at the lens. Uh, we're about to take this into the water to see how well it tests out and have some fun.
I need a bigger rock. Well, there you have it. My unboxing and test footage of the Kodak PixPro WPZ2. And the horrid noise you hear in the background is my freaking air conditioner, which is being picked up on a really good microphone. Uh, in any case, uh, I would have loved to see the camera a little bit on the larger side to be able to manipulate it underwater better but it is not so I may do with what I had as you can see from the the, the, the pictures and, and the video they well they, they turned out so I look forward to using it again at a later date somewhere where the water is a little bit clearer and I can get some pictures of fish but hope you enjoyed the footage that I gave and hope uh, it gives you an idea of whether or not you want to pick one up or not. <laughs>